to the fast lane predictions here 2016 fast lane WWE fast lane predictions here on youtube.com like comment, subscribe down below thank you guys very much for joining us and watching this video we have Nick and Derek on the line no filter hey, hey, so hold, uh, I look I think he'll probably upload his predictions but unfortunately Phil couldn't be with us today so we have Nick and Derek hey hey all right, our fast lane predictions. All right, let's let's take it from the top of the car to the bottom. I mean, the first to the last. I don't know. All right. Calisto versus Del Rio. Who's winning? That's the pre-show, right? Yeah, pre-show is the two the two out of three falls match. Kalisto versus Del Rio for the United States Championship. Which makes no sense because it's a title match it's between exactly. two. I don't know why it's a pre-show. They really do hate Kalisto. <laughs> um, it, to me, it really doesn't matter who wins because I know in the past... To but, but Derek, it's called predictions, not opinions. you got to predict who's yeah. going to win. Who's winning? Who's winning? Kalisto. Okay, there you go. But if you let me finish my point, I'm just saying... Well, we're waiting. For yeah. two months, it's always been, oh, Kalisto can't beat... Del Rio, so he still can't beat Del Rio, and it's like, you've been saying it for two months, and it happened, so shut up with saying it already. You know, let's move on into a new feud so we can stop watching Kalisto Bato over the place. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't need another botch mania fest. Like Royal Which Rumble. basically, with the botch mania that just came out from those guys, which they do a great job, by the way, because we're, um... Yeah, they do a great job. Just look up Botch Mania, and there's like a ton. Um, oh yeah. Their right. latest, their latest one, Kalisto versus Del Rio at the Royal Rumble was like half of that video. Like, that's how bad the botches were in that. And then the other half was Yoshitatsu commentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, jeez, man. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm going with I don't know. I don't know actually. I kind of want Kalisto to win. I really do. So I'm going to go with him. I, I think Kalisto's going to win. Kalisto should win and yeah. then move on from this feud. He, need, he needs someone new. Yeah. They should either go with Rusev or finally have, like, Sin Cara turn on him. Bring back Sin Cara, Negro, you know. And also, too, I'd get out of the League of Nations stable. And screw it. i just say... Why? Yeah, I like the League of Nations. No, no, no. I know that. I'm just saying, get out of the League of Nations stable with Kalisto. Oh, or even, yeah. um, whatchamacallit, Stardust. That would be, that'd be fun, Kalisto yeah. versus Stardust. Yeah. Or yeah. even do a, um, do a, um, unification match between Owens and Kalisto. Uh, a what? A title unification match. You, you want a really, what? Do you really need a United States title? And a yeah. I think we should have more titles. Yeah, because honestly, everyone gets to be the champion. All right, there is a, there are some guys on the roster who just kind of fight for absolutely no reason. So throw them a European championship to be like, oh, so that's why they're fighting. <laughs> like, in the world of wrestling, a title feud should be the easiest thing to do. It's like, I got a title. And then someone else is like, give me that title. It's like, no, man. And then the other guy's like, give me that title. And it's just like... No and Kevin, and no Kevin Owens fight. versus Kalisto. Kevin Owens needs to fight AJ Styles at WrestleMania. That's a SmackDown main event, not the WrestleMania undercard. Kevin Owens needs to fight AJ Styles at WrestleMania. And Kalisto needs to fight um, a match that a match that will be a filler. Listen, a match that'll be a filler, but we care about. Shane McMahon. Like you know, yeah. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. Shane McMahon versus Kalisto would be hype. Just Shane McMahon diving from freaking 100 Wait, feet I, high. I mean, finally pull the trigger with Finn Balor. Balor versus Kalisto for the U.S. title. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right. What well, What's the next match? That uh, D, we'll just go Divas. Divas. Charlotte and Brie yeah. Bella. Charlotte. Um. Charlotte's yeah, gonna win. Like, probably go Brie. Like Charlotte. I'm going with Charlotte. I'll say Brie because of Daniel. Wait, what? That, I'm saying Bree's going to win. Bree's going to win? Oh, yes. that's a very bold prediction. And I, I, th I think 
Bree's gonna let uh, Charlotte have it on her way out. Bree's retiring. No. She's done. Well, I'm gonna say this. Um, Bree's gonna win it at Fastlane, lose it at um, Mania, and then right off to the sunset, go have babies. Uh, I think Sasha Banks is getting her title shot at Mania. It's gonna be Sasha, it's Sasha and Charlotte, Becky, and Charlotte. And Becky, yeah. That's it. Not, that's and whole, I, and I don't know if Bailey's gonna come up. Bailey still has a title, so I, I doubt Bailey's gonna be thrown in there. Which no, not, it not, should not, be. Not yet. It could be like a fatal four way for the four horse women at WrestleMania. I mean, that that's what I think it should be. But unfortunately, they decided that Bailey needs to be down there. No. So, for now, anyway. Whatever. Well, you never know. Like she should. Sasha, Sasha came up with the title. Yeah. So. It's not really an excuse anymore. Like, yeah. Well, they've got the title, can't, they can't do that. And anymore. Owens came up with the, with the NXT title as well, so. Yeah. yeah. I guess you never know. Enzo and Cass are supposed to be coming to the main roster, too, so. That'll be fun. Imagine if they fight, like, the New Day at WrestleMania. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, 100,000 people freaking going, like, doing the Enzo and Cass thing? Oh, that, that'd be too crazy, That'd be man. sick. That'd be sick. That'd be, like, that'd be crazier than Daniel Bryan's yes thing at Mania 30. And. Be and crazy. also, too, a little side note, you already know they're going to break 100,000 at um, AT&T Stadium. Eh, nah, I'm, going, I'm going maybe 80. I'm not going 100. 100's too much. Because... I'll, I'll put it this way. You're going to break... You're going to break 85. Uh, okay. I'll give you a window of 85 to 1... I'm not going 102. I'm not going 100. I'll go one. I'll go hundred. Cause they went that I'll, like I'll there's go, never go, been a hundred thousand. Trent has eighty. I have ninety. Derek has a hundred. There we go. I'm not. I'm not going with a hundred. So, but yeah, well, what's that? What's the next match? What's the next match? All right. How about uh, Sasha, Sasha, Becca, Becky? B A D. Going with Sasha and Becky. Yeah. Like, Sasha and Becky. If it's Naomi, if Naomi and Tamina to win, like if we're, everyone's gonna scratch their head and be like, what? Like, um, so does that mean Sasha's not getting a title shot? (laughs) Um, oh, God. Maybe I should go on the freaking Vaseline Wikipedia thing. Oh, I got it open. All right, so I got it. Flint versus Ziggler, number 200. And 796,345,000,000. Oh, yeah. Um, who do you think's winning this one, guys? It shouldn't be Ziggler because Owens just won it unless they want to shit on the IC title yeah. or yeah. Oh, uh, it. Something's gonna tell me it's probably gonna be. I want Ziggler, but something's gonna tell me it's. I don't gonna want Ziggler. I don't think it's gonna be Owens. Fuck Ziggler. He sucks. He hasn't been great since like 2000. Total ass. Total uh, ass. There's just you know Ziggler is not gonna get like back on top like he was like twenty no. thousand. I don't even think he had like. He needs to like if Ziggler has anything with him like he needs to like go back to the bottom of the card and like work his way back up again because it's just been like him being putting like why does he get an Intercontinental title shot? Because because it's. You gotta make Roman Reigns look strong. Like, he should be, like, the fourth guy in a fatal four-way for the IC title shot. How does he get an Intercontinental title shot? And that whole Rusev freaking rivalry killed him. Like, he was done yeah. after that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it was like, if Dolph Ziggler was Reigns. shot, if Dolph Ziggler was shot, that Rusev rivalry came, like, up and, like, Vince came up with a gun and just pop, pop, pop and finished him. Like, it was over. Like, that little bit of hope that he had was, like, ripped away. But Ziggler, he needs to go back. Like, he literally needs to, like, fight Zack Ryder. And, like, yeah, no. literally make himself, like, known. And get some wins he, under his belt. He needs to get that fire back that he had back in, like, 2011 and 12, where everyone was like, oh my god, Dolph Ziggler. Because, see, the problem is you can't have Ziggler, you can't have Ziggler go over. Because he hasn't freaking won a crazy amount of matches, or, like, meaningful matches. And if he wins this Sunday, that makes Kevin Owens look so stupid, which you don't want to make Owens look stupid because Owens is one of your top superstars. So he, that's why Ziggler say, literally needs to go back down to the bottom and of the I want to say, I know Nick and I have had this conversation many times. Let's just bring back the Spirit Squad, have him job out to DX again. What? Spirit Squad versus Bullet Club confirmed for WrestleMania. Why not? <laughs> why not? Okay. Um, oh, oh, we forgot about, 
we forgot about a more me a more meaningless match. Um, the um the oh, Ryback, I, Big Show, no. and Kane versus the Wyatt families, Luke Harper, Rowan, and Braun Strowman with no Bray Wyatt. Um, I Do you would, really want to know my thoughts on this match. Wyatt family <laughs> better win this match. I'm just yeah, telling you, no, Wyatt no, family no. better win this match. It better not be the three freaking <laughs> fat asses. <laughs> the Stone Cold podcast, I'm going to say a line from the interview. Big Show had more turns than NASCAR, for crying out loud. We have the Wyatt family versus a poor man's Goldberg, a cold, poor man's Andre the Giant, and a poor man's Undertaker. Like, exactly. And we're really going to try this. Poor, um, poor Ryback. Why did, why, why did WWE go through with him like, oh yeah, they're chanting Goldberg. Let's have him go out now, in freaking black trunks. Now, Time. I don't know if you guys Who? Saw, <laughs> I came out with that and I was like, face palm. Like, oh my god, they're having him actually go through with the Goldberg thing. Oh now, my god. I honestly, I honestly want to know something. I know Big Show's a Titan. I know Kane is a Titan. How is Ryback a Titan of WWE? Because he's the big guy. Is that what they're actually calling him? Yeah. yeah. That's and not a, a that's a thing? Guys, what Phil match. was talking about in school, I thought he was joking. No, that's what they're actually calling them. The Titans of WWE. They're going to go through with this? They are going through with this. It, it, it's just the name they're billing for the card. It's like, they, why it's... Yeah. Why it's better win this match. Remember that, the that, that's the bottom line. Why it's going to win this match, because they better they, win this they match. They have to. Like, if you're going to put them in a feud with, like, Brock Lesnar, why have them lose to Big Show, Kane, and Rybosh? Like, like, these guys are more jobbers than freaking Dolph Ziggler. The, the Wyatt family is, like, the biggest joke. I mean, Kane's, uh, Kane's like, 45, uh, Big Show's, like, 44, and Ryback 30. The Wyatt family has been cool, too. They've been cool the past couple weeks. Like, they, 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 they... That's what the Wyatt family should be, just killing people. Yeah. Like that, uh, like when they're going up against Brock Lesnar, which they should, and the White should go over like five weeks in a row, uh, leading up to WrestleMania. But then also too, that leads to a um, that leads to the um, creative because of oh, they're killing under they they're getting job to a bunch of they can go over forty four year olds, but they job to Lesnar. It's like really. That's what the Wyatt family does, like, so badly. And the Wyatt like, well, do we honestly believe that the Wyatt family is going to win at WrestleMania? We all know they're facing Brock Lesnar. We all know that this is going to... Do we honestly believe that they're going to freaking wait, lose no, to Brock the thing Lesnar? That we've been taught for the past year is that the Wyatt family can talk a big game, but when it's time to step up, they... they now, aside, the aside from the... Um, Aside from the ECW original field, which, again, which is a bunch of 44-year-olds who want to come back to the company to pay their bar tab. Um, yeah. Don't forget that time that in that fatal four-way, like, tag team match, like, they got, uh, oh, that's you know, they, they got eliminated by like, the streamer. And, it, and you, besides that whole ECW field, when was the last few they actually won? CW was garbage, too. That match was I know. the worst thing ever. But they oh, trolled the hell out of us. They trolled us because freaking whoever was going to let the table on fire. Oh, Bubba Ray. And we were like, ooh, ta table lit on fire. Nope. Nope. <sighs> too stupid. Who right, thought that, that was a good idea? So when was the last time they have actually won a few cleanly? I don't know. Who the hell cares? Uh, <laughs> uh, probably the one they had back in NXT. Yeah. I mean, how, many, how many feuds have they... They've had a feud with Kane, they've had a feud with Brian, they've had a feud they with... They lost those. I thought Kane won... I thought the Wyatt won the one with Kane. They lost every feud that they've been in. With Kane. Oh, yeah. They've lost then, every few that they... First of all, Bray Wyatt needs to cut the freaking riddle shit. I know. It is so annoying. It's like, can you not, like, freaking be spooky and crazy and, like, have not talk riddles to us? It's starting to get old, especially now that, you know, they aren't winning, like, you know. I, I don't know. I, I think Hunky Harris needs to come back. 
No, Bray's fine. I mean, it's yeah. just like, for it's God's sake, can you talk freaking... Huh? What? Well, you know, Personalities don't like the personality's not there, Derek. Like there, it's horrible how bad they. No, are. I know that. So, all right, let's let's stop talking about the wife uh, family. Yeah. Let, let, let's talk about our next match, which is actually not bad, and I'm hoping it's not bad. And it's AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. Um. First of all, um, is W? Well, actually, you know what? Is WWE trying to kill AJ Styles? As, as history has shown, yes, AJ Styles is not a WWE creation at all, and Vince McMahon would rather make one dollar his way than a million dollars some other guy's way. It's yes. history. And Diamond Dallas Page, Raven, you name a star that was made not in WWE, you name a guy who jumped out. AJ Styles, for know. God's he sakes... He came in with so much pop in the Royal Rumble. You, bruh, when Kevin yeah, Owens and AJ Styles, when Kevin Owens and AJ Styles were going at it in the Royal Rumble, was not like every indie's person jizzing their pants. Now, mind you, you were in Orlando, Florida, so that it that just don't shook. mean nothing. That's his backyard, man. That's uh, okay. It's his backyard, but they're freaking. He's AJ Styles. He's not selling the shows, man. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying it's more of a... It doesn't mean anything if you're in Orlando, Florida. I mean, yes, he was in TNA. Like, but he was also in Ja we, we weren't in Japan. He was in Japan when he was freaking going nuts, and that that's how he got like as big as he was. True. I mean you uh, 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 I don't know. I mean it's Depending on who, um, depending on what the next feud is and how the match goes, it, I don't know if it's going to be a good match, to tell you the truth. It's going to be a good match, but everyone's just going to not care because, you know, that's what always happens. It's poor, yeah. poor, like, I think, I think, I'm excited for the match because it's AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho, and I think that that'd be yeah. just a really good match because, you know, they're two top level superstars that can put on a good match together. Yeah, I mean, I mean even, too, even I think Miz and AJ Styles would be a good match because I think Miz is AJ very Styles good. AJ Styles versus play. anyone would be a good match. Yeah. AJ Styles versus Heath Slater is going to sell out the Superdome, man. Yeah, you know, but like but I don't understand Vince's. I don't understand Vince's can. thing where he's just, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I, I AJ Styles, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not really sold on him, like. Motherfucker, how are you not sold on AJ Styles? This new guy, like, oh my, like, they're making AJ Styles sound like this big rookie or whatever. What? Despite the fact, like, he was kicking everyone's ass in, like, Japan. And it's almost Jeff kind of like, was, like ten times harder than WWE. You know, it's almost kind of like during that summer, or during last summer, where this story broke out, and I know this is a little off topic, but uh, Paul McCartney, all the younger generation had said, oh, this is a new guy coming into music. For those of us who actually know Paul McCartney, he's one of the founding members of the Beatles, and you don't know who he is. Like, really? Uh, yeah, and it was funny, because when Rhino was, like, wrestling in that ECW angle, it was like, yeah, this new guy, Rhino, it's like, bro, Rhino was around, like, in the TLC matches with the Hardys, Dudleys, and Edgy Christian. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell, you mean this new like, guy, Rhino? <laughs> <laughs> he freaking re he freaking wrestled with Edge on the Indies. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he freaking speared Chris Jericho through the SmackDown set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this new guy Rhino. <laughs> it's like and this new guy AJ Styles. I mean, this new guy AJ Styles. He's AJ fucking Styles. He's some guy, bro. He wrestled in TNA when it first started. If you have, if you have a, like a world-renowned star, you shouldn't be like, oh, this new guy now he's playing with the big rules. Like, what? Like, no, because no, AJ Styles, gonna... AJ Styles is on another level in WWE. Like, he's yeah. he brought WWE to it. He could have brought WWE to a whole other level. When WWE signed AJ Styles, like AJ Styles is that superstar, and I hate when WWE says this when they're like, no superstar is bigger than the WWE. Yeah, there are. There are superstars bigger than WWE. Is The Rock not bigger than WWE? Yes. 
Is Stone Cold Steve Austin not bigger than WWE? John Cena not bigger than WWE? There's superstars out there that are bigger than WWE. Even, like, to just take a look at, like, guys that are still wrestling, like, yeah. freaking Shinsuke Nakamura and Kazuchika Okada are being, like, presented in Japan as, like, huge stars. I hate when WWE says there's not a superstar bigger than WWE. There are superstars bigger than you. There are. Like, Especially in this era. Oh, oh, oh. It, it makes me sick to my stomach. Because it's like, how can you not take advantage of a guy like AJ Styles? Like, how, how? He's a money press, man. Literally. Like, Why are you not just creating the Baylor Club? Like, what the hell? You have, don't they have the t-shirts on WBShop.com? And t-shirts, yep. jackets, they have all the continuous merch. So why are they not just going through with it? Like, what the hell? It's, just, it's too stupid. That's why. Oh my god, man. I don't know. Ugh. It, it don't so I, I, I hate Randy, too. I hate Randy. It's not like, oh my god. If people think I love Randy on WWE, I really don't. I really don't like Randy on WWE. I like, I try to like it, and it's like, oh, yeah. bro, the decisions that are being made, it's ridiculous how stupid Vince McMahon can be where he's like, oh, you know, AJ Styles, you know. If it, like, literally, there was a Raw, the Raw after Royal Rumble, there was rumors going around that AJ Styles is getting heat, or, or there was heat between AJ and Vince. Like, what the hell? Oh, my like, God. Because he didn't push for SummerSlam. Because he was a WCW guy, that's why. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, whatever. Whatever. All right. All right. All right let's get on with the main event. Let's get on with the good, with the main event. The um, match that we care about. <laughs> which is sad because I don't care about any one of these matches besides Jericho and AJ Styles, and I don't even care about the storyline. You, right. you care about the you care about the match. Passable at best, but you know. The main event, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, number one contenders match to fight Triple H at WrestleMania. Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Now, before we say anything, we all know what's going to happen, right? No. No. <laughs> what's going to happen? Ambrose is going to feud with somebody else. Lesnar is going to feud with the Wyatts. And your winner and new heavyweight champion of Mania, Double R. Bottom line, Roman Reigns wins tomorrow. Uh, the worst part is he's right. <laughs> like, oh my god, like, tri Triple H versus Roman Reigns is going to be the coronation of Roman Reigns with parades, balloons, all that stuff. They're going to finally be like, the Roman Reigns experiment worked. Guys, which one of these superstars deserves this the most? Deserving it the most, I'd I, I have to say Ambrose. Oh yeah, Ambrose, definitely, man. Am Ambrose. Who is the hottest superstar in WWE right now? That would be John Ambrose. Cena. No. Do, who, do, is do, the, do. who is the hottest superstar in WWE right now? Ambrose. 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 Right? Okay, yeah. What's Ambrose gonna do? WWE Ambrose. is trolling the hell out of us. And, you, you think know, about I, it. You think about it. They got me. Ambrose is not. I, I'm thinking about it. Like, it came down to Dean Ambrose and Triple H in the Royal Rumble, right? Yeah. Right. Was the freaking arena not going nuts for that? They were. People actually thought that Dean Ambrose was going to win the Royal Rumble. Because it was like, they, oh they my god. Roman Reigns speared Hunter at TLC. I'm like... You think about, but you think about it, and it's you like, it, and it's like Ambrose. Oh, they had, Ambrose. they actually had him lose the championship. They actually yeah. had him lose the Intercontinental Championship. And I, and I thought about it too, because TLC. I'm like, okay, so they're gonna have Roman win the title, get us defend it in a uh, Royal Rumble, because Vince McMahon just hates Roman Reigns. Triple H is gonna win, setting up a triple threat at Fastlane to determine number one contender. And it's going to be Roman Reigns, because Roman Reigns is redemption. You thought that all the way at TLC? Yes, I did. 
So you are the one writing the storyline. I knew it! You're writing the storyline! Make it a bro's win! Roman Reigns is not winning it Sunday. I knew it. I knew it. You're the one writing the storylines. I knew it. I knew it. Dallas Blade, when I see you, Team Money is going all over your ass. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, can we just look for a second and notice how they didn't even bother giving the social outcasts a match? Oh my god, they didn't. Oh my god. You're right! Why aren't the social outcasts fighting the Wyatt family? <laughs> because here's what I think what's gonna happen. At least <laughs> 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 put them on the pay-per-view. Oh, Edge and Christian are gonna do their little... Wait, New Day aren't there? Isn't there either? So there's just no tag team titles match either? They're gonna do Edge and Christian and everyone's like, Oh, it's gonna be a They're doing, they're doing... Cutting Edge Beam Show. There's not going to be a match between the two. Edge and Christian can't wrestle. That's what everyone was saying. They're all dead. The Edge and Christian are dead. Oh my God, they're not having a match. Edge will freaking get paralyzed, and Christian will freaking break every bone in his body. Exactly. That's they're, what rumors were. They're like, not uh, going to have a match. Use, use your common sense on the rumors. Yeah, if the yeah. rumor makes sense, then that, then that could be a rumor and possibly happen. Watch but if the rumor right makes the rumor absolutely no sense, where you actually think that WWE is gonna let in, it's like it's like those rumors where they thought that Mick Foley and Ambrose were gonna have a match. Mick Foley can't even walk, like like the poor man can't walk, and you're gonna have him in a match with Dean Ambrose. And also, too, I'm gonna have a bold prediction during this little cutting edge peep show with Edge and Christian. Social outcasts are gonna come out challenge New Day because numbers advantage is strong with this one. They're going to have a match either on Raw or at Mania, changing the title from New Day to Social Outcast. It so ain't going to be Jobbers that because Enzo and Cass are going to wrestle for the tag titles. I'm telling you. They're going to wrestle for the tag titles. And what happens if I'm right? Then I will, give you, I will give you every penny in my wallet. As long as Enzo and Cass have a chance to talk, I think they should like just straight up interrupt it, man. Like they're going to be a fast lane, like, I'm telling you. And Enzo and Cass are going to be a fast lane. They're going to come out. They're challenging the New Day for the tag title. They come out, everyone's going to get hyped, man. That's the only way you're going to save this pay-per-view. Enzo Besides and Cass. See, and WWE, this is what WWE needs to do. They need to have Enzo and Cass at fast lane. Because you need to have that week period where people are those sitting that six week. I think it's a six week period between now yeah. or from tomorrow to WrestleMania. Yeah. So you need to have that period for people that don't watch NXT, that don't know the chance, that don't know what Enzo and Cass are about. I mean, people will know and there will be chants going on, but it won't be as loud as, you know, the regular WWE fan would know. And that doesn't exactly. watch yeah, NXT. We, so you need to have that period to have Enzo and Cass do their chant and have that six-week period where they're just competing on every Raw and every SmackDown so everyone can get to know the chant by WrestleMania so that 80,000 people are chanting that thing throughout the whole arena. Certified G. Certified G. They, um, yeah, can't teach that, man. Can't teach that. That's what you need. I'm telling you. You need to have Enzo and Cass at Fastlane. Need to. It's a six week period from Fast Lane to Mania. Yeah. I mean, that's plenty of time for people to get the to get the notice that like, oh, okay, we need to chant for Enzo and Cass. As long as as long as they're on the go home for Mania, they don't do a fucking tug of war again. Yeah. If Ambrose and Triple H do a tug of war, or if Reigns and Triple H do a tug of war, or if Reigns and Ambrose do a triple H tug of war for the title, I'm gonna kill. Them. All right, all right. Here, here's another prediction we got to make: Is the buildup for WrestleMania going to be like good this year? The no. only way it can be good, and I freaking, I swear to God, Roman needs to be a badass. That, we need to see TLC it, Roman again. It, it's strange that Roman's going up against two other baby faces tomorrow night, so that leads me to believe Roman Reigns. And Brock Lesnar's kind of gray area, though. I wouldn't call him a face. Brock Lesnar's right. not a baby face. Brock Lesnar's just a badass that people like. Brock, yeah. Brock, Roman Reigns could be a Brock Lesnar. Are you are we, like? Can we all agree on that? That Roman Reigns could be a yeah. Brock Lesnar. Okay. That's what he should be. Yeah, Roman Reigns is the freaking like one of the strongest guys in WWE. He's a tough Samoan. He's not the Rock though, so he can't freaking talk like that. He doesn't have that charisma. No, suffering succotash does not get you 
far in this. Uh, but I'm forgiving him for that. I'm forgiving. It was one time. It was one time. The what gets me is he smiles. Oh, that emo smile, like, oh, I don't care. When I don't uh, care. when freaking Dean Ambrose was gonna dirty deeds him on freaking Monday Night Raw, he let go of it. He let go of freaking. <laughs> oh, that little emo smile, like, oh yeah, man. You got me. You, you got, me. got me. You got me. And I'm like, you got me. I would have punched Dean in the face. As much as I like Dean Ambrose. Look, this is what I got. How much of a Dean Ambrose fan I am. Look what I got at a live event. Okay, this is how much of a fan I am. And that motherfucker tried to freaking dirty deeds me. I'm punching that him in the face. I'm punching him right in the face, man. Bruh, like, you, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, you try to dirty deeds your best friend. I don't care if he's your brother. He was about to drive your head through the mat. Like, what if What's his more? brotherhood goes out the window? What's and your your daughter or your brother? God, man, ridiculous. They really need to start splitting up Roman and Dean, like fast. But how? It was in SmackDown. I watched the thing. Okay, they didn't do a horrible job because Dean Ambrose did try to beat up Roman. Roman did some Owen drop Dean, but it was nothing after that. It was nothing after that, so I don't know what the like what the whole thing is, you know. And even at even at the match in Survivor Series, it's like, oh, okay, it's like, you know, I honestly thought one of them was gonna turn heel, but it's like, and even at TLC, I even thought Reigns was gonna turn heel. I'm like, okay. I didn't think Reigns was turning heel. No, like that whole thing. Everyone was telling me that Reigns was turning heel once he was beating the hell up out of out of Triple H. I was like, how is this a heel turn? He's beating up a bad guy. Like what? This isn't a heel turn. Like, well, the way how is this a heel turn? The way I read it today was um they the, the IWC portrays Triple H as a baby face because of NXT, and they're gonna have Roman Reigns be a heel at Mania because he gets booed. But wait, it, Triple H, the man of the authority, is a, that yeah? That's not gonna yeah, happen. That, no. that doesn't no. work. That way. No, and, and if the, and whoever's writing that is a big idiot because just because people are booing Roman, Roman is still a baby face. Hold on, maybe yeah. I can find the Roman's a baby face. Yeah, that I doesn't know. that, that baby face, yeah. Triple H is a heel. I know. Triple H is a heel. Yeah. Just because people are cheering yeah, Triple H, like Stone Cold Steve Austin got years. cheered as a heel, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Stone Cold got That's cheered as a heel. Mankind got cheered as a heel. Right. But. That, but, like, that, Triple H getting cheered at the Royal Rumble doesn't mean he's a babyface. No, he got yeah. cheered because he was going to get after Roman Reigns, and nobody wanted Roman to win. Yeah. If it was if it was Ambrose he was going after, a, Triple H would have got booed the hell out of him. He would have got booed the hell out of him. Triple H is even, like, a one-dimensional, yeah, boring character. It's like, because he has two different people to him. It's like, he's boring. He's, he's, he's two, like, one week he's like, yeah, NXT, yeah, guys, yeah. how are you excited for NXT, 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 and then he's like, Roman, Dean, go screw yourselves. And then, yeah, I, I can read you It's the like, pick one. Like, pick right a back back you're on either. Report. Although Triple H is likely to cheer at Mania because of the hardcore fans that follow NXT, being this guy in charge of the brand, he's the baby face on the brand, he's also... There's also plans changing between I big really, it's it's a big stretch to say that those eighty, ninety, a hundred thousand people are all hardcore fans that like love NXT. And you think about yeah. it you think about it, Derek. Eighty to ninety thousand people are not buying WrestleMania tickets. Okay? No, they are not. People are going around WWE's going around and giving up tickets for WrestleMania to sell it out. Okay, so they're going out to random people who won't even know what wrestling is to go ahead and, and, and give and give that, you know, give WrestleMania tickets. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just reading the article. So that's not that's not happening. Okay, so Triple H literally, and, and this is my huge problem with it. If they try to turn Dean heel, that's not going to work. No. Okay. Even, Dean beating up they, Roman Reigns is just going to make him more of a face. So and, and I don't know what they're trying to do. For example, even if they try to do like Triple H as a face 
That's not going to work. Dane is too over. And triple, yeah, and Triple H is a face. I mean, and Ro you can't double switch those. It's not, it's not, not, yeah, no. It's double you can't, it's like, you can't double oh, switch those. Yeah, I'm part of the authority. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a bad All guy. All you have to do is freaking just have Roman Reigns beat the hell out of Triple H and not say a word. That's that's exactly what made TLC 2015 so good, man. Because Roman Reigns just shut up and just beat everyone up. And that's only what he should do, man. Alright? But even too, it's like, you know, you sit there and it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have Roman Reigns be John Cena, which you can't do. Yeah, you can. You can't. Obviously, Roman it should, like, get in a few. You can, but you can't, because Cena talks better, but obviously can't wrestle. Reigns can wrestle, but can't talk. What? I'd be, I'd be sold Cena's on Cena's a good wrestler. Cena can wrestle. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's but. just Cena. You know, Cena's not like you know. He just tries to appeal to all the little kids and like he's like, oh, I'm Superman now. And it's like eh, Roman no. needs a good feud. That's what he needs. Like, name a good Roman Reigns feud. You, you remember right like now. earlier this year when Cena was healthy and they're they were portraying um, Cena versus Reigns of Mania. Yeah, they wanted Cena versus Reigns of Mania. That's that's what they wanted. Well, they wanted Cena versus Reigns of Mania. They wanted Cena versus Reigns of Mania. They wanted Cena yeah. versus Undertaker. That's what they wanted. Now I think for the Undertaker, it's going to be... I've heard Braun Strowman. I've heard Owens. I've heard... No, apparently Braun Strowman guy can because everyone's like, oh, Braun can wrestle the Undertaker. And then Triple H is like, but guys, Braun can like do things that you haven't seen before. And they're like, why didn't you just put him on NXT? So then we could see them. Braun, Stro like, oh, Braun Strowman... Braun Strowman, if he fights the Undertaker, Undertaker, we might as well prepare Undertaker's funeral. Yeah, Braun make, Strowman yeah, cannot yeah, carry yeah, the Undertaker and make sure Undertaker walks out there alive. Just, just make it a casket. Like match. he will die. Just, just make it a casket or a last fight. <laughs> Undertaker can't even survive Brock Lesnar's matches without he can't freaking. Survive any matches, man. I mean, I if you, like, like, which is why you got to put him out there with Slater like a guy man. like you know, like I think a guy like Cena. If he wasn't hurt, would be a good match for the Undertaker. Cena yeah, wouldn't go out there and try to kill the Undertaker. Right. Okay. Finn Balor, I think, would be a good match for the Undertaker. Like, I, I think so. Listen, because Finn Balor does have experience. He yeah. won't like kill him. Not, not a good, not a good experience with more hard hitting, faster Japanese style. And even even on NXT, you know, he's doing a lot of. And even you know, Fred, you I go with. You know, I go with maybe um, Sheamus on that for the Undertaker too. Yeah, and see, she yeah, and Sheamus, yeah, Sheamus is a good worker too. So you know what? I get, I guess, but like the storyline just isn't there. Like, the well, we just have the Undertaker retire, so we can all be happy that he's not going to die anytime soon. Yeah, that too. I think Undertaker retiring is crack you. So, what's the rumor with Undertaker? I I know we're completely going off track here. What's the rumor for Undertaker at WrestleMania? Uh, up now. They've tossed out so many names. They've, yeah, they've fun. tossed out so many names. It's like... The, uh, apparently the latest rumor is that whoever Undertaker is facing isn't in WWE right now. But that means it's probably Sting. Sting, Sting? is in WWE. It's Sting's so dead. I, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard Sting, I've heard Wharton, and I've heard Nakamura. So let me, so let me get this straight. Well, well, not straight, but you know, like, so, is Sting, Sting and Orton, are they cleared to wrestle? Orton went on Flair's, um, podcast and they said, no, he isn't. So I don't think Orton is, is Orton's, uh, Orton's out. Orton's, Orton's out. out, Cena's out, Sting's out. So by not Sorrow's in the company, out. not in the company, are you talking about, wait, are you, by not in the company, are you talking about completely not in the company, not signed at all, or are you talking said, about they injured? Just they just said not in the company. company. I'm sorry, not main roster. So people are in, interpreting that as anyone who's currently injured and can make a comeback. Anyone on NXT and anyone that they just haven't yeah. slash signed yet. So anyone who's not on the main roster now is fair game. I think Finn Balor could be it, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I think Finn Balor could be it. That would be sick, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm really leaning towards that. If they're saying he's not on the main roster, that's huge. 
and and, and I mean they're they're throwing out names like Goldberg and Batista. I see I'm reading this article right now. So, but wow, it just turns out to be freaking Chad Gable. Do we really want to be? <laughs> Undertaker will be like, yeah, great. What a way to go out of my retirement. If Chad Gable beats the Undertaker, man, he's going to be the freaking future of the industry, man. Well, hell, you might as well just throw like gold, uh, gold dust in there. And gold dust is in the company. Yeah, I know. Gold dust is dead. Roster. Gold dust is like about to die to freaking our truth because our truth is gonna like kill him yeah, if he like jizzes on his wife one more time. No champagne here. No, like, I I saw that. That was horrible. I can't believe WWE was like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Like, didn't WWE recently get life back in their partnership with BSR and Glad and everyone? Yeah. yeah. And then proceed to have gold dust do gold dust things? I don't uh, the, it's the Vince McMahon humor. It's going to have the like, Tally Booker dust in the gold dust thing, too. But that, that was funny. This is. Alright, guys, well, we're getting way off topic, so I'm going to end the video. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Bye. How long has it been? Forty one minutes. <laughs> Bye. So Bye. like, comment, subscribe, Bye. and do all that. Do all those things. Watch out next three and face with Bye.